yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sensei with a video here today where you guys get again, actually for a very long time haven't did it, a text effect. Yeah, it might be a little weird, but let me guys just know, like leave a like, comment down if you want to see more and like all that good stuff. But basically, I had a previous effect called the modern chrome text effect. It was cool, it was great, but it's not as cool as this one. So without further ado, let's actually jump into it and have some fun. Alright guys, so to start things off, the actual starting color is F7, D740, and this color can actually change by the way at the end of this video, but for the record, that's what we're starting with. However, I do want to say make sure you guys actually right click on your text and make it into a smart object. That way, anytime you want to actually change your text, you go into the smart object layer and change it over there and you guys are good to go and it'll change all the rest of the layers that you do at the end of this video. It makes it way easier. Next, though, we're going to actually make a duplicate of our base layer and lower the duplicates fill down to 0%. This, by the way, will basically need to happen every step when we make a new layer for the record, just so you guys know, okay? Anyway, open up your layer styles, and here you actually want to add a nice little bevel and emboss at 460 depth, direction on up, size on 80, and soften at 16. 90 angle, 30 altitude, and change your contour from whatever setting it is to cove deep. Then 50% screen on a white base, and your shadows on 80% on a black base. Then apply an inner glow on exclusion blend mode, 100% opacity, zero choke, 50 size. Then where your color choices are at, you wanna create a gradient that is pink, red, and blue. Basically as the start, middle, and end points with a nice offset white or white in between. Make sure that there is actually three nodes at the top, one at the start, one in the middle, and one at the end. The one at the start should be at 0% opacity, the one in the middle should be at 100%, and the one at the end should be at 0%. Then lastly on this layer, you wanna apply a graph to your contour that looks similar to like a one mountain peak like this roughly like six or seven points. After that, your actual base is officially done. Group these two layers together and add a curve adjustment and clipping mask to your actual new base group. For this curve adjustment, you wanna kinda of create it to make a two peak mountain similar to this. Then of course, when you guys are good to go, you guys are done, let's move on. Now let's make another copy from the base and put it above everything to apply a new set of effects. For this layer, apply another inner bezel at 100 depth, 30 size, zero soften, 90 angle, 30 altitude, and the graph for this contour line is the drop down option at sawtooth one. Then at the bottom, make sure you guys are at 95% screen on white and 50% multiply on black. And for one of the first dramatic changes in this video, add an inner glow as well. This time on the blend mode difference, 100% opacity, and a dark to light blue gradient. This will actually help to add a lot more different colors and the contour you guys put above it will make it just way cooler. Of course, make sure your technique is on soft, center, 10% choke, 125 size, with a contour graph setting of a one kind of like middle peak leading into a two peak similar to this. There's no other way to explain it. Then of course, after that, this layer is done. Yet again, with another copy of the original, this time put the inner bezel on five depth, 160 size, four soften, negative 160 angle, 50 altitude. And for this contour graph, make it a W with like deep ink tracks similar to this. I'd recommend, by the way, saving this again where you actually can find it really quickly because you guys will be using this again in a second. Then make sure your highlight is on a color dodge with a blue, 100% opacity, and 0% shadow. Then you guys want to actually add the contour this time under the bevel options with the option ring double. And now this layer is done. And for the last copy of this portion of the video, add yet again another inner bevel option with 40 depth, 160 size, 4 soften, 90 angle, and 50% altitude. And this, of course, is where you guys add that W curve from the actual previous layer under your content graph options. This time, though, as you guys exit, make sure the highlight color is pink on color dodge at 100% opacity and 0% shadow. And now let's group everything up with Control G, head into our adjustment layers, put in human saturation, clip mask the layer to the actual group layer, and change your colors. And now let's make this thing come to life. And just so you guys know, in the last effect in the bevel and emboss, if you guys change the alt suit by literally one or two, that is why the next clip is going to be a little bit slightly different because it's up like two or three more from this one. And of course, what do we know? We start off with yet again another duplicate of our original text. I'm going to alt drag, throw it over, right click, clear layer styles, lower the fill down to 0%, drag it up or double click on it, and then we open it up. So bevel and emboss, we're at 300 once again. So over here, we're going to be at 35, a little bit of zero soften. Let's go with negative 90 angle. And then over here, we are at 21 altitude. Then over here, we are on linear dodge at, I believe, light, linear dodge? Which one? Nope, it's screen. And then we got 70 screen on white, by the way, just like so. 
boom and then over here 50 on multiply just like so boom and then of course we're gonna go into the graph so this one's gonna be a little bit awkward okay so i have it on my left hand on my right hand side so i believe it goes something like this right we're gonna start off right here then we're gonna go all the way up just like this then we're gonna come back down then we're gonna bring it down again then we're gonna go like up here a little bit coming down a little bit and then this is gonna go all the way down but before that we're gonna do a nice little hump again so it's gonna be like two little humps at the bottom but this is gonna be pretty low just like this and then this is like right here okay and you can see the more i move this up by the way more you actually see more kind of like uh white and for the record me trying this before I, sometimes it's gonna be a little bit too like light you're like why is my text so much lighter usually if you like add another one like in between this one and this one if you move it toward the left you'll get it to be more darker for the record and maybe move this part down so if it's like light try to fix it up for you guys and then hopefully it makes more sense but basically if i press okay press okay once again get in and out of it you guys just see the nice little border from the show we're looking good that's our first one of course we need another, like two more so make another new uh, another duplicate right click clear layer styles oops lower the filter on zero percent double click and then on this time we're at around 400 depth okay just like so 35 size five soften zero angle and around 35 altitude 35 and then screen is on 85 percent and then multiply is on 65 percent actually it's not multiply it's lighten by the way lighten and just like so right but the graph this time is going to be a u okay so we're going to go to custom linear and i'm on this one we're kind of like going like all the way up like this then we're coming down okay then we're adding another one right here then like two at the bottom just like this okay then we're adding one right here one right here and then like this this guy up here and then this is just going all the way down so now we got to fix stuff so it's supposed to be like a u like this okay um <clears throat> like this okay boom something like that i think this is pretty close to what i need a nice little u is all i need if i press okay press okay again come in and out yeah perfect it looks it's, it's good to you know close enough so now for the last one control j again make of course a nice little clear a little fill down to back to zero and then for this one's gonna be our big one so this is gonna be at uh a thousand depth by the way and then inner again i believe and then size is gonna be at what is it at 30 and then two soften and then negative 80 angle just like so and then 40 altitude boom and then over here it's gonna be at 70 and then zero for this on multiply, but you don't really actually matter, you know, matter too much. But this graph, again, linear. Okay, we're gonna make a nice little sharp line going here, just like this, like this, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and do over here is make another one going all the way up here, and this going all the way down here. It's like a nice little loop. However, though, we're gonna click on this point right here, just like so, and click corner. Click this one down here, click corner. Click this one over here and click corner. And then this one right here should also be corner. So we only have nice little a curve right here. This goes like kind of up like this. This one's like that. This is like this. And if I press OK, we come out. We press OK. Of course, we turn it on and off. And we got ourselves a nice good look. Nice little gloss around it. And that is basically it. I mean, to be honest, it's really pretty simple and pretty fun. As soon as you get through all the settings, by the way. One of the cool things about this, by the way, if you guys go all the way back down. Okay, if we go to like the beginnings. I'll say like even to the base. This one right here in the base bevel or bezel uh if you guys click on the actual graph under uh, the bevel and emboss once again moving this around is actually how to get more unique looks by the way and of course the more you kind of like smooth things from the start so if i move things on this one over here let's say in like the the first grouping over here go over here move this one over here you'll also get more different looks by the way you get more brighter looks you know it can change there's variation in there of course any of the parts where there are color at change them up as well and of course as well once again if you guys want to move this out of the actual framing by the way without taking everything you just press you press ctrl g to group it up together and then right click and then we can do convert to smart object just like so and you guys just move it freely wherever you guys want to go and you guys are good to go so with that being said that is the end of the video here today so if you guys enjoy text effects let me know because i haven't done one in a quite a long time this is like a little bit of a test but i wanted to come up with a test with a nice updated one for my other one it was just not it bro i don't know what i was thinking but that's all i got so leave a like if you guys enjoyed subscribe if you guys haven't already and i uh, love you guys i'll talk to you guys later so, so hq out now we gotta keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys later much love and enjoy your day peace